Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and uh, ski conditions. First off, we'll start with the uh, the live view, the cam up at Loveland Ski Area, right on the Continental Divide here in Colorado. Uh, windy, cloudy, and we've got a storm coming in. There's actually two storm systems that will affect um, the, wet, the west in general, and in fact, they'll move right into the Intermountain West with big totals into the weekend. The second storm is going to be stronger, I think, with colder air, but that's the view right now. Definitely a little bit windy up there and cloudy. Here is my uh, watch list as we slide into the weekend, basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, keep an eye on Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee, Alta, Snowbird, Steamboat, Crested Butte, and Wolf Creek for probably the best chances at those areas for some of the heaviest snowfall all the way through the weekend. I mean, we've, we've got some really good chances for powder days ahead on those three days. All right, let's look at the analysis here. We'll move into the, uh, the radar and satellite, and I'll show you the two storm systems that we're dealing with. So the first one's already coming in. You can see it sitting off the west coast. Uh, that's the first low pressure that will be moving in, and that one will take that moisture that's hitting the west coast and continue to slam it into the Wasatch, uh, the Tetons, and then eventually, yes, the snow will be picking up in intensity in Colorado. But again, that is just the first storm. There is a second storm. You can see the comma shape out here. It's this area right here. That is actually going to be the larger of the two storm systems, and that's the one that will drag the Arctic front down with it. So the jet stream, this is always important to see what the storm track looks like and where the big OR graphics are going to be. So by Friday afternoon, you can see the first area of low pressure. It's basically sitting right there. It's moving through Utah into Colorado, and, and it puts Wyoming in a good position as well. That one will bring some cold air in with it, but it's really the second one that I showed you out in the Pacific. Look what happens here. Look at that powerful jet stream coming up over the top and dipping down and through the west and that just opens up a nice pocket right here for that area of low pressure to swing through and also drag down or maybe even track right along that arctic front from wyoming to utah and into colorado that is what's going to set us up for a good weekend and then that slides away by uh, sunday afternoon sunday night and into monday and then there's another storm right on its heels actually for monday night and tuesday across the west so our future radar looks like this. There comes the first storm system. You can see it is basically moving in this direction and that will push a nice line of snow right down the uh, the Wasatch, right down the Tetons and into Colorado. Um, so that's going to load us up. I think one of the big powder days and, and, and Friday morning will be good across the Tetons and also the Wasatch, but Saturday I think might be better, um, including into Colorado. Saturday might be the better day as that snow finally comes to completion and you're looking at the, the final accumulated totals there by early Saturday morning. Um, so snow would be sliding through Colorado and, and we'd, be, we'd have some good uh, totals. Again, I would watch Steamboat, I would watch Crested Butte uh, on Saturday and I would watch the Tetons, I would watch the Wasatch for Saturday. And then you can already start to see the next area of low pressure sliding into the west coast. And again, it's that second storm system that I think has more potential. Uh, you can see the amount of precip that it's got. That's the one that will ride right along that Arctic front and drag that colder air in as the storm progresses. And certainly behind it, some of the numbers, and then that would affect the density of the snow as well. It's going to be a much lighter snow with this second, like fluffier, finer, powdered sugar type of snow with that second storm. So here we are by Sunday morning. And this is another good powder day because with this storm, that second storm, it's moving fast. It's drawing in colder air. You've got a big powder day setting up here for Sunday across Utah and Wyoming and Colorado. And again, on the way through, these storms would have been dropping good snow all the way back into the Pacific Northwest as well. So you're going to have new snow chances up there through the high volcanoes, the, the high cascades, and even back to the Sierra as well. You will see snow accumulation from both of these storm systems. So that's the view on Sunday. And then as we kind of move into the Monday timeframe, that storm would then move away and we'd be looking at another storm coming into the, uh, the Pacific coast. You can see it right there. You see that next area of low pressure hitting the West Coast. That would then race in from Monday night into Tuesday across parts of the Intermountain West. So what about accumulated numbers? What about the accumulation into the weekend? Well, 
Okay, so this is the way it's going to shake out. What I'll do is, is I'll say that, you know, looking at my notes, um, the biggest accumulations will come out of the Pacific Northwest with both storm systems, and then the numbers would go up. Thursday they would start to go up, but then some of the bigger totals are going to be into Friday and into Saturday. Let me get this moving up into time. There we go. So those are the numbers by Friday. Look at some of the numbers uh, in the Sierra even. By Saturday, though, look at this. We are working on two feet in the, uh, the Alta Snowbird, Little Cottonwood Canyon area, Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee. Saturday looks good. Look at the Pacific Northwest. Um, south of Mount Baker, generally, into Rainier, Timberline, and Bachelor. Saturday's going to be a good day. Look at Steamboat in Colorado. Between Saturday and Sunday, the second storm would then move in, and all the numbers would continue to go up. Look at this. So by Sunday, this is probably when we're looking at some of the best conditions in Colorado. Again, this is going to be a much lighter snow champagne powder, of course, and steamboat. This is all by Sunday. This is going to be a good day across Colorado. Uh, Silverton's numbers have gone up. Look at Crested Butte by Sunday between 10 and 20 inches. Look at Wolf Creek down there by the time we get into uh, Sunday. That's going to be good stuff. And the Pacific Northwest numbers have gone up uh, more as well. Now, the thing about Jackson Hole, and I've only shown you the total through Sunday morning, it could be more than that, and there is snow beyond Sunday morning. So here is the, uh, the snow plume. So again, we're looking at 10 to 20 inches by you know, Friday into Saturday morning. So that's going to be a big powder day. And then that second storm that comes in Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into early Sunday morning, that may put down another 10 inches or so in that area. So we could be looking at 30 inches by the time of accumulated snow in some of these spots around Jackson Hole by the time we get into uh, Sunday morning. And then there's another storm that comes in Monday night into Tuesday and may continue into the, the day on Tuesday. So this is a really good pattern, two fast-moving storms and an Arctic front. Uh, always appreciate you tuning in here. I'll keep things updated as we get into Friday and the weekend. Thanks for tuning in.